the finger. Jordan. Hey folks, welcome back to NBA Basement, the show with classic NBA material. In today's video we will take you on a journey to the golden age of NBA basketball, the toughest league, the toughest era, and the best basketball. So sit back and enjoy the ride. Controlling the opening tip to Ron Lou to Michael Jordan over Jefferson. Yes! Why did we have a feeling that this was going to be a big night for Michael Jordan, that these fans are in for a treat tonight? He has been looking forward to playing in front of the Washington fans. He missed the inter-squad scrimmage. He felt very badly about that. Jordan off the fake, drawing the foul, picked up by Jefferson. You see him drive at the end of his dribble. He gives a ball fake, gets the player up in there, and gets the foul. Get the opponent up in the air. Uh, John, I know you know the answer to this, but Zai. Some guys get a twist ankle and don't want to play anymore. Here's Jordan. Michael Jordan, two for four from the field. He has six points. You see the cross match there. Normally, you would have Kerry Kittles playing against Michael Jordan. Jordan, yes. You know what was great about that? Uh, Brown was open inside and wanted the ball real quick. The Wizards coaching staff very upset with Lou off that last drive by, by Dial. Here's Jordan. Yes. Well, if Teron Lou is going to be their starting point guard, and Doug mentioned the big positive he gives him is pushing the ball back at other people. They need him to stop people off the dribble. Comfortable doing, but I did want him to stay in administration. Here's Jordan drawing the foul. It counts. The basket counts, and Jordan to the line as he's hit by Marshall. What timing by Michael. I'm, a, I'm kind of chuckling here because Donnie Marshall gave this incredulous look to the official like who me foul but I think he needs to understand who he just was leaning up against that's going to happen an awful lot this year when Michael gives you that fake you lean into a little bit he's going to get the call well the thing that was very impressive with that move he had to use a lot of legs and right now he's trying to get his legs on Jordan got the step and is fouled hit hard from behind by Marshall Sometimes you're watching him, Mob, you just get the impression that he's holding back something. And these guys, once defenses are geared towards him, have got to be able to make passes to him at the right time. Play, <laughs> Play well this past Thursday night in Grand Rapids, Michigan, beaten by the Pistons. Jordan. Yes. Van Horn firing the three, which is rebounded by Jordan. John Thomas just made a great play. He protected Lou, which will allow him to get more pressure. Michael Jordan setting it up for the jumper against Richard Jefferson. Jordan can shoot and can play. Jordan, yes, and it counts. And we're beginning to see a familiar scene here. Michael Jordan has the crowd on its feet. He has caught fire. As he winds up sitting in front of the Wizards bench. And you're going to see the reaction here on the floor. You watch his teammates jump up and pick him right up. You may need to give the old timer a little bit of time on the floor once in a while, John. Jordan with the step. Jordan it down. Didn't I read somewhere where they said he lost a step and couldn't jump quite as high? Well, we may have to play this again tonight. Marshall for three. McCullough had it knocked away. Nesby with the lead. And Jordan able to come up with the ball. Oh, what a pass for Alexander. Van Horn with the shot clock running down. Jordan on the loose ball, and suddenly the Wizards more aggressive at the defensive end. Well, each time Thomas is doing a hell of a oh, A 16 to 3 run, and the net lead once 19 is down to Fala. Jordan with the rebound. Just under six remaining in the third. 13 of his 28 here on the third. Jordan again! A three for Jordan! It's a two-point game! Standing ovation from the crowd here in Washington it will not count. He's going to have spurts. And he had a preseason game where he scored 18 points in 12 minutes. Um, 
against Miami. But the one thing that I've reiterated to our players is we cannot stand and watch him play. And uh, one of the things we've done in scrimmages is put situations where, where Michael's on the floor. That team uh, cannot let Michael shoot for maybe a five or six minute stretch just so. Hey guys. Now while you are watching this classic NBA content, please be so kind and subscribe to our channel and click the notification button. It only takes a second for you, but for us this means the world. Thank you very much. And now let's continue with the best of NBA basketball. They have to learn to play with he's on the floor and not just to watch him play. Derek Dial played last year with San Antonio. He stopped. Simmons off the steal. Simmons with the spin. Simmons on the tip. I think well, that was Jordan. Michael Jordan. A little bit, particularly inside on this, enjoying himself and having fun out there. Questions with Michael Jordan. I think DC's really become one of the great sports cities in the country. <laughs> He'll get 40 tonight, right? It's made it tonight. Guy just wants to make the NBA rosters so are. Leave him alone. Here's Jordan. Yes! And it counts! A foul on Jefferson. Got him all the way up. Michael moving, working to get free. Just don't stand still and get free in this league. And then he faces up, looks his opponent down, and elevates as he brought it up. The hand reaching in caused the foul. Because of his intelligence on the floor, the timing of his cut, how to use screens. Shot clock running down. Here's Jordan on the pull up. 15 and 22. 41 points for Michael Jordan. It is now eight on strong. Jordan leading Simmons. Beautifully thrown by Jordan. Who's delighted with Simmons running the court. As soon as Michael got it, his head was up. He looked down the floor. Eye contact with Simmons. He led him with the pass. Uh, uh, pushing it down. Jordan posting. Beating Dial. Hands it off to White. He's accustomed to penetrating. The help comes. He drops it to Shaq. Shaq's not there anymore. These big guys have to follow him to the basket because he's already got in the habit of giving it off. And Derek Dial completes a splendid evening. The next defeat, the Wizards 102-95, despite the exploits of Michael Jordan in his preseason home debut as a member of the Wizards. 41 points in 30. Three minutes. Let's go to Craig with Michael Jordan. Well, Michael, you've worked awfully hard on this comeback. Lost about 35 pounds, removed three years of rust. What's your first-hand impression of tonight's performance? I mean, obviously, you see, we with the young team, we got to find ways to score and, and move the ball and execute. I think uh, it was a big game for them, first time in front of the home crowd, and you know, I think I can sense a little bit of nervousness. And third quarter, you know, I just I just try to pick it up and get some energy going, and I started hitting some shots and. The guys started feeding off of that, and then we had a letdown. You know, when I went out of the game, I think it was 63 61, and I think those are the things we're going to have to eliminate. And, you know, that happens with a young team, you know, but it's preseason. You know, uh, you know, I'm working on my game. I think everybody is trying to find, you know, some kind of new, new day and chemistry to play at, and I think this team's going to get better. You mentioned the third quarter. It was great to hear Marv Albert scream. Michael Jordan is having a spectacular night. We haven't heard that in a few years. We can see when you're feeling it from the surface. But anyway, to describe what it's like inside that uniform when you know you're feeling it? I mean, it's a good rhythm. You know, I can, the basket seemed big. You know, it's been three years since I felt that way. And, you know, I, this preseason, I'm just trying to get myself in shape. And, you know, I, I want the team to start to get a feel in terms of how I play. You know, I don't want them to sit back and wait for me to play. I think that's one of the things that they tend to watch a little bit more than what they should. And, you know, uh, I think Doug is trying to eliminate those types of, you know, nights and those minutes. So, uh, no, but with the young team, you're going to have situations like that. I know you like challenges, but were there any doubts in the last few months, especially when you hear wonderful friends like Coach Thompson call you Floor Jordan? I think he's, you know, he understands that I play with a little bit more wisdom. You know, I'm not going to try to take off on the free throw line. He understands I know how to play the game with my head instead of athleticism. So, uh, you know, I, I took that as a compliment more than, a, you know, the knock on my, the way I play the game of basketball. So, you know, he knows me, and, you know, I, I didn't look at it in a negative way. You can dunk, you can dominate, but you can't do it all. When you come out of a game in the first quarter with a one-point lead, you fall behind by 17, you score 16 in the third quarter, but down again by 17. How bad is it to watch? How much does it hurt you, and how do you resist the urge to take over? Well, I mean, it's a learning process. I think the team has to see it. I think Doug is going to show the film 
and see where we are not executing when I walk out of the game. And, uh, you know, that's an area we have to improve. And with the young team, I think we can. It's just going to take some time. I mean, in, in Chicago, we went through the same phase. And you know, I, I, I think that's what we're going to go through now. Hopefully, we can shorten that time period. Uh, thanks a lot. We'll see you opening night. So that was it for today's video. We hope you had fun watching this classic NBA content of the golden age of NBA basketball. Make sure you check out our channel for more videos like this one. Hope to see you next time on NBA Basement.